Hi, Hiram here. Today I'm going to try a new stove that I got from Sam over at Batch Stoves. This is his BS 2.0 FE stove. FE standing for fuels efficient. It's a nice little, nicely built little stove. Uh, I'll give you the particulars down below as far as diameters and whatnot. It's about two inches tall, two and a quarter inches wide in diameter made out of an aluminum can. I put that on there just to identify the stove. It has 24 jets, hopefully you can see them here, in alternating layers. Uh, two fluid ounces of fuel capacity. Supposedly one ounce of, of methanol or alcohol will get two cups to a boil, which is what I'm going to try today. What I'm going to do now is get some alcohol set for this and get some water prepped and I'll be right back for a test. Okay, I got some water prepped here. Hopefully I can get this started before the temperature comes up. Uh, it's r really hot and humid here in the garage. I'm going to have to try to set something else up for my other videos, but excuse me. What I'm going to do is one fluid ounce, 30 milliliters of methanol. What you do is you prime this wick along the bottom of the stove. That helps heat up the stove faster. You're also supposed to be able to put the pot right on the stove and light it because of this wick. So it's what's going on the wick is uh, fluid out of the one. Boy, it is so hot here. It's one fluid ounce of methanol. The rest of it will go in here. Now you don't want to fill overfill it because if you do it could come out through the jets when this heats up okay that's still at 59 degrees let me see if I got this lined up let the alcohol evaporate that's spilled onto the countertop okay so according to Sam you should be able to put your pot right on on a lot of alcohol stoves you can't start them up too well right from you know the pot being on there man okay so the other cameras running let's try lighting this turn the light down okay there that goes start the timer and let's see how long this takes for the jets to come on I think you can see from camera two quite a nice flame there but still no jets Hopefully it'll take off before, the jets will take off hopefully before the wick runs out. But also with this, you're not wasting the heat off these. Okay, there go the jets. Sometimes you have to fan it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so the jets are lit. And let's see how long it takes for this to get water to 212 degrees or boiling. Okay, now here we are two minutes into the test. The temperature is up to 126, 127, 28. Still going, so it is going up there. So let's see how long it does take this to come to a boil. Here we have 210. to 11. Come on. Two twelve in seven minutes, fifteen seconds. Not bad. So that was two cups of water starting at around sixty degrees. I have to look back and make sure what it was. I'll write it up. But two cups of water came to a boil in seven minutes, fifteen seconds. Now remember, this is one fluid ounce of methanol. That included the methanol that I put on the, the wicking on the bottom here for priming the, the burner. And then the remainder was put inside. So let's see just how long that one fluid ounce or 30 milliliters will burn. Okay, now it looks like it's going. Going. Gone. At 13 minutes, 4 seconds. 13 minutes, 4 seconds. 
Huh, not bad. Let me take this off. So that was two cups of water starting at about 60 degrees. Again, I'll have to look back. Uh, room temperature 82.7, humidity 73%. It's cloudy and humid outside. We have thunderstorms passing by. And the water got to a boil in 7 minutes 15 seconds. And then the alcohol ran out at 13 minutes 4 seconds. So not bad. Again, this is batch stoves. BS 2.0 FE stove, FE standing for fuel efficient. That was with one fluid ounce of methanol. Cool. Uh, I forget, did I say earlier? It has 30 jets on this in two rows, alternating rows. I hope you can see them there. Now, this isn't, this is just an observation. Sam put grooves on the top here. I think you can see them. I think so that the the pressure can't build up in here and then force the alcohol out through the jets. You've seen in some of my older videos where I've had to put a hole in the stove just so that it doesn't do that. Sometimes it'll build up pressure in here and push the alcohol out and then really make you a mess. So it looks like what Sam did was he put uh, he just made little filings there. I've seen on some other stoves like this where they've taken a uh, needle nose pliers or something and just kind of crimped three spots here so that it raises the surface that the pot sets on. That way you get two things. You get that, so that uh, clearance for the pressure to come off. And second, on a stove like this, on any stove like this, if you set an ice cold pot on here, it tends to put the flames right out because you've got all this surface contact on a cold pot. But when the, with these crimped um, little spots where you get little bumps, then the pot's only resting on those bumps, and you could put practically a solid, well, not quite, but you could put a very cold pot of water on there, and it shouldn't affect it much. Again, that's you know not a diss or anything like that, just an observation. But it's a very nicely made stove, and it is a stove because it's got the pot stand and the burners on there. Hmm. So I'll have to do some more tests when it gets a little bit cooler. I'm really curious to see how this works in cold weather. With this wicking on the side, that always helps for a cold weather stove. But So I thank Sam over at Batch Stoves for sending me this to play with. Again, my comment the other day, I was saying about how much I like uh, Batch Stove's pots. He makes some great pots. And I wasn't expecting to find this in the order, so I didn't want people thinking that I was just, you know, buttering them up. I really like his pots. That's enough. So, I thank Sam for sending me this. I thank you for watching my videos. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.